Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a first impressions video for you. I feel like I've been doing quite a few of these lately, but uh, this is a pretty cool knife and I wanted to give you guys a look at it before um, or as soon as I could because there's not a whole lot out there about this. So this is a new Best Tech for 2019. And by the way, I did get this from Justin at White Mountain Knives. And if you go over there to pick one up, you can use my discount code Sharp Stuff to get 10% off or I mean any other knife that he may happen to have on, have on his website. So please use that discount code. It does help the channel. Uh, I'm able to get uh, various knives at a bit of a discount. So it does come with one of these little zipper pouches that we're used to seeing from Best Tech and we and a few other companies these days. Um, we have a microfiber cloth in here, some silica gel that we can throw in the garbage, a uh, little bit of paperwork, and of course the main thing everybody came here to see, there is the Best Tech Horus. Now this is a, a particular iteration of this knife. There are a number of variants available on White Mountain Knives and other places as well, I'm sure. Uh, this one has the satin finish on the flats here of the handle and then has some anodizing. So I'll work my way through that as we go along, but just kind of know as I'm, as I'm describing this particular knife, just kind of know that there are some other versions available. So S35VN on the blade. We have a black wash finish on the bevel and satin flats here, a bit of a fuller and of course black in the fuller as well, and on the, the back spine of the blade. So uh, there is a satin version or a stone wash version available. I'm not sure which. I think it's one or the other. I don't think both. All right. Moving down to the handle, we do have, of course, a bearing pivot with a titanium frame lock. Uh, this is a flipper only. I have tried to deploy this using the fuller, and I suppose you can if you want to open it and pull it out with two hands, but with one hand, I cannot, oh, yeah, I cannot open it with just the fuller. I have to use the flipper tab. Um, and I'm assuming that'll be the same for most people. It is on bearings and it's quite a smooth knife. All right, uh, moving on to the handle, let me give you a bit of a description to what we have here. Now again, there are some other versions available, so you may wanna check out which one you feel like is the most interesting. But I went with the satin and bronze with carbon fiber inlays here. So bronze anodization on the milled titanium clip, bronze anno as well on the rest of the handle. So. Uh, outside of the the sides here which have been polished and these little milled out lines which are black everything else here is bronze so the backspacer internals on the knife are bronze as well as of course you can see the the outside edges there and i think that looks really really cool and creates kind of a nice theme for the knife uh, the bronze is kind of continued with the, the gold pivot collars here, which look pretty nice. Can't tell you whether this is a captured pivot or not, but I will when we get to the full review. And of course, we've got these carbon fiber inlays here that are rather interesting. And for me, you know, just a bit of visual interest, which is why I went with this particular version. Now, in terms of the specs on this knife, it is going to be eight and three eighths overall. So just a little bigger than say a PM2. 3 and 9 16 on the overall blade length, so that's just a hair over 3.5 inches. In terms of the actual, oh, sorry about that, closed length, there we go. So the closed length is going to be 4 and 13 16, which is just a little bit over 4 and 3 quarter inches. This guy weighs in at 5.2 ounces, and it has 3 and 5 eighths inches of grip area there. So that should give you an idea of how this guy is going to work out for size and, and how it fits your particular size preferences. Haven't had a lot of time to carry this around or anything with me yet, uh, but I'll have more comment on how it carries and goes in and out of pocket and all that stuff in the full review. For now, let me say this by way of a first impression. I really find this to be an extremely ergonomic knife, really, really good comforter, really, really versatile having the ability to choke up like that. I really like that. And of course, I find the design rather attractive as well. So uh, what do I think of this knife? Yeah, perfect high-end EDC knife. I wouldn't really call it a hard use knife or necessarily a tactical knife, but uh, yeah, if you're into knives and you like carrying something nice around, I think this is going to work out really well for you. The action is nice. It feels really, really good in hand. 
And of course, we've got decent S35 VN blade steel up front. Obviously, I'll have more to say on all of that stuff when we get to the full review. Let me know what you think about this knife and which version is your favorite version. As I say, there are a few different ones that are out there. So uh, find the one that you like the best and let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will talk to you soon.